Aquarius and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your weekly read for the third week of August 2020. That's from the 17th to the 23rd of August thereabouts and it's a general reading just to see what's on the cards for you at this time, what sort of energies are around you. But before we dive into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle. And I'll use this um, Hedgewitch Botanical Oracle to draw you a three-card spread to start the reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom this mysterious oracle has for you, Aquarius, for the third week of August 2020. What does the oracle have to say to Aquarius for the third week of August 2020? What messages are here for Aquarius for the third week of August? What does Aquarius need to know for the third week of August 2020? Okay, something's falling out caution oh dear you've got wormwood denoting caution let's see what else we get i'll draw the cards in from a fan i'll use the biggest pile and draw your last two cards and let's see what you get Resourcefulness with the huckleberry. He grows, this plant grows in places other plants wouldn't be able to take hold. He's resourceful. So you may need resourcefulness and abundance. Thank goodness you got something more positive. So the hollyhock brings abundance. So from needing to be cautious about something, be on guard and use your resourcefulness, you will eventually be rewarded with an abundance that's not bad not bad at all so let's see what the rest of the reading has for you let's see what's on the cards for Aquarius for the third week of August 2020 what's on the cards for Aquarius the third week of August 2020. What messages are here for Aquarius for the third week of August? What messages are here for Aquarius for the third week of August? What does Aquarius need to know? messages are in here for Aquarius. So let's see what you get. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Swords and the Hierophant showing where you are. And you have the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. Bringing you to where you are. Your surrounding energies. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the King of Cups as your challenge. The Six of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Fool. Are your advice road and your final outcome cards are the seven of cups the lovers and the page of swords and you have the magician at the bottom of the deck This shows you've been able to hold your own, 
to maintain higher ground during a time of conflict where you may have felt you were under attack from various angles. You've been pouring a lot of nurturing and um, making a secure and um, stable place for ones that you care for. But you've suffered a, a loss and this has been a difficult loss for you. There's a degree of mourning here. And, you know, that's, that shows that it's been a hard road for you, you know, dealing with a loss and yet being able to support, nurture and um, provide for others while at the same time warding off petty attacks or difficult attacks from, from the environment. And now you've, you know, you may feel, you may even begin to feel luck is on your side. Things are changing. Outside forces have brought changes around you. And these changes are positive. It's linked right beneath the full, a new beginning, a new journey, a, you know, a, a sense of adventure as you start on a new path. But for now, you know, perhaps before you feel you can embark on anything, you feel trapped, bound down, unable to really see the positive and see a way forward. But um, you know, I get a sense that this, this sense, this, this being held down, being bound, being trapped is is, is actually connected to this morning. Perhaps you, you sort of trapped in mourning and you're unable to find a positive way forward. The Hierophant suggests you may find support and guidance and advice from someone who, who can mentor you through this, um, someone who can bring spiritual enlightenment to you at this difficult time but this is a, a period of transition and change because the wheel of fortune shows that outside forces bring bring about a change for you and it's a change for the better but you need to be open to appreciate and receive it and work with it and your challenge is just simply doing the daily things that need to be done getting on with things, making steady progress and continuing in normal everyday life, having built, you know, a, a secure, um, stable foundation from which you, you're working from. But, you know, in, in this state of feeling trapped and bound and if it's related to a sense of deep loss, it's a task just to get up, just to do the daily things every day. Healing. There's your challenge. This particular hermit is full of healing. If you look carefully, um, you know, he's a wounded bear and from those wounds, new growth is emerging because he's healing. So you have a, you know, as a part of the challenge is, is in continuing to be this stable force. For those around you, you're healing, you're having to heal. And, um, you know, in that healing, it seems to be a very emotional healing because it's a healing towards enlightenment and, um, and finding that different perspective that will, you know, open your eyes um, and help you find a way out of what's restricting you. And getting a hold on your emotions, you know, getting mastering your emotions, so that you you're on you're not immersed in intense emotions, 
but you're not cut off from them either and you're still able to nurture, provide and give in a compassionate and um, unconditional way so that you know you're able to provide compassion and unconditional love and I think you know part of this healing is your challenges to once again nurture yourself to love yourself to find that uncompassion and un to find that unconditional compassionate love for yourself as well nurture yourself so that once you're properly healed your daily your daily life will be more bearable and more you'll be able to take it in your stride again your advice from spirit is you know an act of kindness is coming your way it may be linked to this wheel of fortune an act of kindness is coming your way in order to support you through difficult challenges and um, provide you with new hope a soft place to fall you've been advised here as well to turn your back on these sort of niggling difficulties challenges um, that are around you to um, disengage and turn away from as best you can distance yourself from people who are bringing strife and, and negative energies and that's I get this caution you know be careful of who you have in your environment at the moment because you're still healing and you know this sort of energy is going to be detrimental to to rejuvenation So rather allow new energies, better kindness. Um, and this may be, you know, people reaching out, people that you've known for a long time or people returning from the past to offer you support, guidance and an act of kindness and that unconditional love. And, you know, the cards here remind you that you... you you're starting on a new path with this change of energy around you, a new beginning, and to try and embrace it with a sense of faith and optimism that will eventually bring you to, oh gosh, yes, more options opening up to you, you know, different things becoming available to you, choices, and a deep and long-lasting connection, one that supports and nurtures you, is on the cards for the future. And also, that may come through a message, but I'm also getting a sense with the Page of Swords, it's being able to To find your path clearly, to feel that this this path that you're beginning on, that you might not at this moment be in the right state of mind to embrace, having the um, the, the strength again, the um, the focus to get off the fence and move with it. The Page of Swords is about you know starting on. An endeavor putting it into motion and being swords it's actually something that's quite mental rather than a physical thing it's being able to embrace um, a new way of expressing yourself and beginning it within a safe and secure bond connection with someone or some people and new choices opening up around you Um, your resourcefulness and your abundance fit in, um, well, right at the bottom of your deck here. 
you have the magician. You know, so recognizing that you've got the 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 the, the ability, the talent, the resources to um, reinvent yourself to create something, and that's going. You know, to you you to do that though, you need to put your intent to it and your resourcefulness. Um, and also you have the abundance. I'm putting it with the lovers here and the hermit. That healing brings you abundance. That lovers, that connection, which is could well be linked with the six of cups here, yeah, this act of kindness, brings you know an abundance of um, comfort, security emotional security and um, warmth back into your life. So there you have it, Aquarius. You may be, you know, moving on from a difficult loss, but your fortunes are changing with an act of kindness. And that sort of projects you on to a new path, a new endeavor, which opens up opportunities and brings you towards a, a, a compatible, warm and loving, supportive bond. So I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonated with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like button and have yourself a good week. And God bless you till we meet again.